Gary Coleman. I'm a mechanic at Diesel Leaders on the Gold Coast, and uh, this is our V8 range conversion that we've just finished. When the customer came up to us, yeah, this had a, uh, a blown engine. All the bodywork that's on it, all the suspension work that was already done uh, by the owner. Uh, all we've done is uh, the V8 conversion. But he wanted a, uh, a high-powered late model V8 engine to put into his late model Ranger. And, uh, we decided to put a uh, Coyote engine uh, out of a FG FGV. Our biggest concern uh, with this build was trying to retain forward drive capabilities of the Ranger. Um, when we did our research uh, before we went ahead with the project, uh, no one believed we'd be able to do it. Uh, everyone said that uh, we'd never get the, the uh, transmission to work properly, that would never drive properly. Um, but we went ahead with it anyway, we, uh, took it on as a challenge. Uh, we ended up keeping the V8 gearbox behind the V8 out of the Falcon and uh, had a lot of machining work done to the back of the, the V8 box to accept the uh, transfer case from the, the original Ford Ranger. That way we kept the original Ranger four-wheel drive capabilities uh, and we kept a, a, a stronger box for the, to put behind the V8. Um, that was probably our biggest issue. Um, the other big issue we had was the physical size of the engine. It, it only just fits in the engine bay. Uh, where the engine sits now um, is the only place you can go, so we were kind of... It made it kind of easy for, for doing engine mounts and stuff because we had no choice. It, it can't go any higher because it'll hit the firewall. Uh, you can't go any back any further for the same reason. It can't come forward because there's no room for the radiator and it can't drop down anymore because uh, there's no room for the sump. So. Um, you know, get, even getting it in there, we had to cut the front radio supports out to, to get the engine into the engine bay uh, before we even started, so that's, um, that was another big issue. Um, but by far the biggest issue was getting it going. Once it was all in and, uh, and uh, everything was manufactured, because the, the Falcon computer doesn't, won't talk to the, to the range of computer, they, they talk different languages. So. Uh, we had huge problems getting everything to, to start, getting the engine to start to begin with. Uh, we had help from um, Sideshow Performance Wiring. They came in and had, had a look at it for us. Uh, he got the engine running. Once the engine was running, we, we had problems with the gearbox getting it to, to change gear. It wouldn't change gear. Um, Sideshow Wiring came back and um, with help of uh, Real Dino in Brisbane, um, they sorted out the communication problems with the um, electronics and uh, as she sits now it drives beautifully uh, if you drive on the road nice and sedate uh, just cruise along it's, it's smooth as silk you put your foot down it's like releasing a caged animal it's a, it's a, it's a weapon